Oh yeah, the beginning. You're gonna have lots of muck. Muck. You're gonna have to get rid of. Just so you can see what's going on because it's only held on by staples, just so you know. The only thing that holds on your gutter, staples. But in order to get this piece off here, you're gonna have to remove that piece. So in order to do that, clean it up a little bit. Let me see what you're working with. And sometimes they do have quarter driver bits, but most of the time it's just a, well, sometimes it's both <laughs> quarter driver bits and staples. We know this gutter's got water going behind it. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Well, and that bottom piece here is rotted. What you gonna do? You gonna clean it up? My phone going off. How's it looking from up there? Yeah, it looks like uh, exactly what I expected. Really? I had a feeling. Just what I expected. Yeah. Do you want a little uh, tub for the nails falling? Uh, there should, there should, any nails, it's, it's not any nails, it's staples. Oh, staples? Okay. And we'll just set them in our pouch or our pocket or on the roof or they're staples. Most of them's going to stay right in the gutter. Okay. But we have a magnet if they don't. Okay. I was going to say, because that is. No, we don't worry about that shit. We got stuff for that. Okay. We got stuff for that. I won't leave no mess for you. You're good. You'll be in good shape. Staples everywhere. Let's get behind the staple. And pull it out. Cause that's how easy they come off. Let's work your way down through there. Gutters aren't held on by much. Hardest part would be getting that piece of metal out of there. Take out the staples that go from the roof into the put it all back. Put it all back. It's a tiny gutter ball. Ain't much at all to it. Huh? Tiny gutter, big staples. Yeah, like them old roofing staples they used to use back in the day. Same thing. Just want to be careful for the roof itself. Comes out pretty easy. As far as that goes. For the gutter itself. We need something to pull staples with, like a pair of pliers or you know anything like that. Let me get all the staples pulled out. There's one pair.
be able to see the bottom of the gutter, but these our gutters are different. They're taller than these. Oh, little tiny staples hooking to the house. That's not good. I hate them. Tiny staples. Yeah, that's great. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, all that would work. Yeah, any one of them. Just throw them up here on the roof. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna come in handy. Just getting a glance of what's going on around here, George. Oh yeah, a lot of little tiny staples. And bigger staples. Take a time going down through there. What you're gonna wanna do. Take your time. Oh yeah, they're up there, little tiny ones too. I like them ones. That one's gonna be the boogers. They'll be the boogers. Nice if they just did them at this end. Let's we'll see. I know they're all the way down here, everywhere. I'm just looking, looking. on charge, Paul. Yeah, it's gonna have to be, we need some of them on charge. Good into deep wall chargers and everything going. Yeah. I thought George was behind me. No, he already took off. I took off. Yeah, we don't wanna Thin out that metal too much. Chargers? Yeah. Dewalt's? Yeah. Anything Dewalt? Look at the staples.
big ones. Still ain't running no little one. Good. Hope they just got them out here in the corner. They're everywhere out here. This is the part we want to damage the least damage. This section right here, that piece that goes over everything. We'll be coming back here hydro stopping all the way down this house if we don't. You know what I mean? We don't want to outdo that, do you? Hell no. Huh? Ah, oh, little staples. Everywhere down here. You can easily cut it, cut it with this. Now be careful. Tedious. It wants to be tedious. Damn, I don't want to cut this metal. You know what I'm saying? So, don't want to. No, that's where it, that, the gutter's going over that metal. So, I'll be super careful getting these damn little ones out. That's where you're gonna cut it. It's hitting it right there. And then I'm sure it's got some sticky behind it. Tiny little things too. Look. Yeah, I got them. A million of them down here. Everywhere, and I don't want to uh, cut the cut the house. Just scrape that shit off, you can see them, you know what I mean? It's gonna have to be sanded off or scraped off anyways. In order for our gutter to stick back there. Just kind of trying to take your time going down through there and them staples will pop right out. You just gotta find, see the staple first. And after you see it, you can see which angle it goes in. It's easy to get out. I don't wanna, like I say, cut up a bunch of metal. What you want to be careful of. Get in there to come out. Huh? You got barely sticking in. No, the, the, um. Talking about the little punch I got. I want to make. <laughs> hmm. so you took that the wrong way. <laughs>
Yeah, they got the metal stuck back there somehow. Oh yeah, and stapled. Whole top stapled down through there. All right. Yeah, they gotta run a mastic right there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they gotta run a mastic right up underneath this yeah. lip. Yeah. Keep water from going behind it. Yeah. <coughs> we had to cock the crap out of it with yeah. with Lexo. Yeah, that's pretty high. That's why you got to be careful. You don't cock them things everywhere. You might end up. Don't want to do that. Yeah. Don't want to do that. It stops right there, but they got tape pounds. The vendors, small ones. Yeah, you don't want to do any of that all down through there. That'd be a nightmare. Yeah. Just take it super slow. Just and then, like I say. There's gonna be staples in this stupid crap too. Yep. But something to at least nail it to. Yeah. That's where it's held up top. Yeah, you can't the bottom neck. Nothing. We're gonna to have to find a stud or something there. How big is the stud there? Huh? Oh, there should be. Stud there. there should be studs all the way down through there. You have one of sideways. Up and down. Or well, maybe one of them. Yeah. They had to hook this metal to something, so it's going to be something there. Yeah, right. yeah, that's the way to do it, right there. Even them bigger ones would be nice. Wider ones. Because that's what we're going to have to do in order to see it. Yep. And then that's got to be put back down. Uh, with something, caught a lot of caulking behind there. Yeah, cork it up here. Yep. All the way to the top. You can mass it. Mass it? Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't get enough for mastic for that. No. The mastic goes on here. Okay, okay. The mastic goes there. Sell. They got it here too, though. Keep it from being able to go up behind it. So we need to caulk the crap out of that before we put our, uh, you know, uh, before we put this back down. Because it's going to have to be put back down, stapled, and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Staples, or uh, not staples, but. We can nose. Yeah. yeah I mean, we could nails. use a uh, staple gun. Roofing nails. Yeah, roofing nails. That'd be better. Yeah, Nail it down with roofing nails. nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to do, and, and cock the crap out of it, put it down with roof and nails all the way down, mm -hmm. and then our gutter goes over the top of that after we masked it the back of the gutter. I mean, yep. Say, so, hey, once we get this piece out of this channel, got to get it loose from this corner first. It shouldn't be nothing, it's just slid back there. Yeah. Off. What corner? That corner does, but you have a quarter drive. Ain't no quarter drives over here. No. No. Huh. That corner, it just come, it just slides out of that, slides straight that way. Oh, yeah. When it's time to come out, it's not hooked to anything except for a staple. Right. The only thing that's holding it is a staple. Yeah, that just pops out of there. It's just slid in. Literally slid in there. I can't believe it. No wonder it got water going behind it. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll have to have a magnet. Sand it. Yeah. 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 Sand it. Yeah.
Pretty easy. I just don't want to sand through it. No, no, you can. Gotta look at that. Yeah. yeah cool seal upon cool seal. Take your time, take your time. Take your time. Find them staples. You better get your metal out. Get cut down 10 foot. Excuse me? No, for the bottom. You gotta take your time getting that stuff out. That. No, I'm coming. No, it's the bottom piece. Oh yeah, yeah, ten it's foot. The we don't know how big it's gonna be yet. It's the outer bowl, not the inner bowl. It's the outer bowl. It's got two holes in it. Do you use the outer bowl? Yeah, we just need to get it out, get it ready for breaking. How it'll be coming next? Yeah. Excuse me? Over where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I dented it. Dented what? I dented it. <laughs> we don't, as long as we don't do it on the next one. Took my GoPro in the water swimming. Oh yeah. Yeah, got some good video. <laughs> what? I mean, them, you know, flipping, going down the slide. Yeah. Oh, I had to get down. The yeah, they had a blast. Out here this morning. A lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. I know it. It is bigger than you know. Seen no antenna. I ain't seen an antenna yet. I ain't looking for one. Oh, yeah. Probably not even working. Staples. Up 
Huh? How much you got to notice though? It's white and tan, ain't it? The other piece too is white and tan too, ain't it? See if it's thin or not. But it's smooth. Six what? Thick. Feet? It's thick. Oh, thick. thick. So we don't have enough metal. That's all right. Hope we can find some. Hope we can find some. Not thick. Damn it. Why? I should have kept that roll from Mathis. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what you wanted to do. What? Drop the curtain and go get some. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we can't this part. I don't even know where to get it. Mathis. Jesus, I'm crow. Ridiculous. that comes loose that shit comes off easy oh, yeah, yeah. now the thing about it is we might have to step on step ladders for this because we can't dent damn trail no no this ain't leaning against a trail like that no i agree with that right, we don't want to change some pieces yeah and i'm not doing it for free yeah right. i can tell you that bad news no okay no i'm just saying i'm just telling them to be careful on the trailer or as far as denting oh yeah this is fine but don't be put any you dents in the bottom dent somewhere, babe. Their yard, yeah, their yard yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's about what I expected. Same as I expected. Yeah, I got the magnets doing the trailer. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a magnet. We got a three foot wide magnet. Not worried about that. I just been having bad luck recently, so I'm expecting any moment. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, no, it's exactly what I expected. Yeah, you're infected with the type of bug that gives you disease, but you have too much to lose. That's what I'm expecting. Huh? Yeah, I will. Because once you get down, what's that antenna? That's nothing, is it? No. Nah. Can we get rid of it? Yep. Hey, right. you can get rid of that thing. Be my guess. <laughs> what, side, side, like side like this, yeah. That one? Yeah. Or both of them. All of it. Both of them? Yeah. Yeah, we're cutting them down. I don't want any TV in there. Yeah, we'll cut them down. You don't? No cable or anything like that. Oh no. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I figure we'll, um, what do we, what do we have in there for water? I mean, just in case something later on, I don't think so. Can't tear out all the way down this thing and then, you know, it goes so far. I got enough, I can get started with. Yeah. Take off that first sheet right there if you can. That first piece right there. I'm just saying, you're going to make this, so. Yeah. 
more than likely if long something's in there a screw to it's just going to come out and down make a counter flash over that instead of yes. that stupid thing we're not going to go back with that straight, though, ain't excuse it's me just about straight. yeah it is Th this is straight all the way down the house it just runs a straight line it's not like the gutter it has to have a dip in it it's just straight <coughs> but when i put that back in there i'm just putting a piece that comes down comes out and back down and you know we don't have a whole lot we're not coming out past anything so when we bend that down a small bend that's all my plan is for that as long as it functions, I don't care what it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah. We're I don't we're not gonna I don't I think it's stupid for us to make a gutter. We're gonna make probably more like a counter flash instead of a gutter. Yeah. That's garbage. That's what the, that's where the problem that's where the problem came from right there. Yeah. Stinking gutter and they put this thing sitting down inside of it. It's dumb. Give me a pair of tin snips, George. Cutters. That's all that is. Dumb stuff. Or something by doing that. Yeah, that's dumb. A gutter? Come on. Why would you put your metal inside of a gutter? Dumb. Doesn't make any sense. That's the only type of gutter I've ever seen. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And that's what it looks like behind it, Paul. I'm surprised that's not black. We got, we got this board goes all the way down for screwing, so we end up screwing here and and here below our gutters. This piece of metal will be screwed on down here and the screw down here. This is easy. Look at that. It's easy. What? I know. Nothing. Nothing at all. So our, when we screw this back, of course, we're not. We're just going to put our turn bar screws here. There. We don't have anything, so we just have to put it up a little higher. But below this lip. So it doesn't interfere with our gutter itself. But this thing here, that's going to be, we're going to turn that into a counter flashing and so that our metal goes down and over the top of it. It's stupid right there. It make no sense. Yeah, I I to see. See how it up. yeah, and there's a piece of wood that goes all the way down. And so you're very limited as far as what you need to put back there in that piece because this is going to be when we put our screws in these pieces. Yeah. Hold this piece it's going to it's going to hold this piece and this piece. Yeah, yeah. Not that. It's going to hold this and that. Yeah, I have nothing to do with that. Top, yeah. So it doesn't have any mastic behind this because they drop down so far. They don't have to worry about the mastic. So. That's cool. I don't want to take any more out until you get it down through there where we can pull it out and get ready to put it back took the metal off and this is literally all we found around that window it was nothing but a piece of metal nothing else no window flashing no no nothing there's nothing really to put anything back to i just can't believe this these windows haven't been leaking a long time ago i think this one might have been leaking right now paul yeah yeah you like that thing? it's wet right yeah. this is dry yeah just the corners so after you get all your metal peeled out you're gonna have to get down through here this is gonna have to be as clean as you can get it because you're going to put new mastic up there. So we'll be putting our metal piece in around our windows. We're going to do something better than that, though. Um, we'll, we'll figure out something. We're going to put something around the windows, make sure we got a nice tight seal. Put our metal siding back on. Clean up this roof in order to put new mastic up there and it, everything stick real well. take it off and you put it on basically the same way you just have to clean everything up like Paul's doing here make sure down through here it's nice and clean nice and clean because you're going back to that but we're gonna definitely be doing something around this window to give us a good stick here I'm thinking that damn seam tape I swear to God sticking it right up in here and molding it right around the tube floors you know what I mean? 
took the gutter off first because it's on top of your um, panels on the roof. Take that loose. And then the metal below it come loose. And then the gutter below it came loose. And that is on a straight line, which we'll be putting that. The gutter itself has a little hump in the middle where you want it to be the highest at. And then down towards the outside digits. We gotta get rid of that porch, so that's that's in the way of everything. So panels. This was up in a neat mobile home and it's staples. It generally holds them. Okay, so that was up there. That gutter below it is right here. What we're taking off is rusted and all crappy. Don't ask me why they put it up there because if they were to use an eight foot panel, it would have went all the way. Huh? There's uh, only one board that goes across there that you can uh, lean on. There's only. Lines up perfect. Just about. Push this way. Push this way. This way. Yeah. He's still on his blue line. Personnel is there just to protect their lives. Wow. So anything other than that, they're not allowed to do. Wow. Well, good. It's not their job. Exactly. How's our lineup doing? Good. Good. Oh, that's nice. Good. I like it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, on your blue line a little bit. Yeah, push it in in the top. It's, see it always bulging in the middle. That's all. Yeah, you're not right. I should have trimmed those bushes before y'all got here. Oh, that's all right. That would have had worse. That would worse. Spray can. Spray can? Spray can. Well, inside the window. Halfway. Inside the window. Just fold down. Just fold the edge all down. Get it nailed where you want it. Because gutter's going over that. Yeah. Didn't, couldn't get him. I was moving. I wanted to keep moving, but I couldn't. Couldn't get it. How they look? 
How's your seam looking, George? Still the same? Good. Nice. Looks good. Mastic. This is gutter mastic. Comes in a roll. Roll it off right to the edge, right to the top edge, because your screws are going into that hemmed lip on the other side. You don't want it coming off before you even get started. So, press it in really nice. Can run some caulking. They're gonna. I popped the line up there. Is what I did. So after we popped our line, we'll run the top edge of this to it, and that tells us where we can put the caulking at. I want to put a little caulking on that thing, right, right under it, the line. That's pretty tight. We gotta put caulking in the seam too, where we put it together at. I done better than the ball. Yes, it did. That looks a lot better, dude. Looks a lot better, my friend. Master. master. <laughs> sure it's secure before I do get on it. I don't take I've been doing this long enough that I know how to set up a ladder. And uh, some people still don't pay attention. I won't mention any names. I mention your name, George. <laughs> That must be a new guy. Yeah, he's a new guy. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. Don't you love how that squirts out of there? I can't even put it in a hole. Oh. Well, I love how it squirts out of there. Yeah. Tells me it's sealed. Tells me that it is sealed. Paintbrush, cool seal at top edge. Paintbrush. That's what I got. <coughs> New gutters. Still glue it. Huh? 
Corking. Corking. Nice right, corking. Hey, you pop a line, put the corking below the line, it will squish out the top just like the mastic does. You know it's sealed when it does that. Screw every four inches. When you take that off, trust me, there's a staple every four inches. If <laughs> not more. New gutters. If you have not been watching, you're new to my channel. This is the kind of things we do. Trees ripping and over repair. The gutters were the little tiny ones, as you saw probably at the earlier in the video. Little square things, tiny. They call these two inch gutters. Much bigger. Most important thing. I'll my battery went dead. Yeah. When you get down here, you can get the end. No, I don't need to get the end yet. I'm just going to stop screwing right here. Stop screwing there until we put it together. Okay. Just the last screw. What a huge difference. When you have something real there. Show what kind of screws you're using, Paul. Uh, I don't know what kind of screws you are. They call it wood. They're called metal to wood. They're called metal to wood. So you got your metal, and that's yep. what the washer is for. And then the screw head goes into the wood. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I don't need that. Thank you. Into the wood, through the metal. The washer, little rubber grommet is just for that reason. So it's, the screw is not touching the metal. Don't ream them in so far where your washer head runs off. But tight enough so that your caulking squeezes out. So it's a happy medium there. Happy medium there. See that? Nice. See that? Can't get on it. A little shaky. I'm getting nervous. No, Point the camera at him. Point the camera at him. Get nervous. Yeah, I'm scared. Mastic. Let me see the other tube. I was looking for that other tube of Lexo, it don't matter. Sometimes it wants to be a pain in the butt. 